We were scum. Trash. Refuse that didn't fit into the system. Until someone had the bright idea of recycling us to serve science. I was surprised every day because um, I felt as if it was a normal thing. It was just so natural to work with him. He made it like that because mm -hmm. for him it was not probably easy and natural, but for me it was, yes. Mm -hmm. I never imagined it was a new experience. I thought it was like a long experience, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've sort of found that it's easier to approach characters more like it's you only need one line or something mm -hmm. or one just little piece which you can kind of build everything around in, in your head um, and then you sort of use what happens in the script as events which the character which you sort of invented in your head reacts to rather than trying to get every detail in the script and only having that those elements as to build a character. I don't know if that makes any sense. It Probably makes it sense because <laughs> I, it's exactly what I experienced with you. And I experienced that the same because also Juliette was not the actress I wanted. And mm. she, she made a different doctor, you know? But I really liked that doctor too, you know? Mm. Yeah. Monty mentions the word taboo pretty early on. It kind of is almost like foreshadowing for, for things that will happen. Do you see this film, broadly speaking, as taboo or something that pushes the boundaries? No, no, no. Mm -hmm. I think the, those, this taboo has been, it, it's such an ancient taboo. Mm -hmm. It's pushing the borders. No, uh, I, I don't have this pretension, really. Mm -hmm. You know about what it is to be alone there. Mm -hmm with that little girl, he's mm -hmm. not a fool, you know. But he's postponing the, this danger. Th they have a life to live, I guess. I, I don't know if my answer is right, but yeah. I guess. It's almost meta in the sense that there's this baby on set with you guys and has no concept of really what's going on, much in the same way the baby on the ship does, and there's kind of this blurring of the line there mm -hmm. between fact and fiction there. The baby knew. The baby I mean, knew. <laughs> she, she, she knew she was better. acting. Yeah. <laughs> no, she 100% knew she was acting within a day. Like, it was yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. like, the first, I think the first day when I was feeding her, and you could, you could almost see her process. She was like, mm -hmm. she's like, okay. Yeah. And she, you could see her like logging things. Yeah. And as, so, as soon as she realized that there was the camera crew focusing and the focus was on her, it just it, everything changed. Yeah. Like it was just no longer on a spaceship. Sometimes she was waving to yeah, us yeah. Uh -huh. in the morning, you know. Mm -hmm. No, I think a baby is a person, you know, with a completely different scale. But there is so much. Um, it's not like uh, nursing a baby. It's it's like meeting a, a human being uh, at a different stage. You know, it's very impressive in a way, huh? Mm -hmm. Even for us to work with a young child, it brings so much. Early on, bodies get dumped out the door in space and they kind of fall straight down. And yeah. I think like our understanding of space is that it wouldn't necessarily work that way. Were there certain rules that you wanted to okay. you weren't concerned with or <laughs> beware. <laughs> we are out of the solar system now. Mm -hmm. No air, no atmosphere, so you f will fall you shall fall like a stone mm -hmm. forever. Is it? I mean, it no. makes for an amazing opening shot. So, <laughs> but it's. Uh, I still don't really understand that. Mm -hmm. But there is. Why no do you air. not fall up? And, uh, you have don't have an engine in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, you That's a good enough answer for me. <laughs>